let's go on to another topic. And that is the topic of why does God send these plagues, catastrophes, and so on to us. I'm going to go back to another time period when very similar plagues and catastrophes afflicted another nation. You all know when that was. That was Exodus, that was Pharaoh, and that was God. What did God want? He stated very simply what he wanted at one point. He said, let my people go that they may serve thee. Exodus 9, verse 1. He wanted his people to be separated from the pagan Egyptians. So that is one reason for the plagues at that time. I think that is the reason now, and we'll get back to that in a minute. And then there's another reason that he says, and that is, quote, and this is verse 18, 9, 18, And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. Okay? Now, God was in this in proving to the Egyptians and to the Israelites who had fallen away, of course, that he was God and he was more powerful than the pagan Egyptian gods. Pagan court magicians were quite powerful. If you go back and read this, they could change their uh, staffs into snakes. They could do a lot of different miracles. Quite impressive, but not as impressive as the power of God. Well, today, what do we worship? Uh, we worship other types of gods. We worship, for example, materialism, technology. We are puffed up in our pride. We think that with our modern technology, we can do anything. I think God is trying to show us that we are nothing compared to his power. He wants us to be humble. What can we do to stop a tsunami? Absolutely nothing. What can we do to stop earthquakes in Haiti and Chile? Absolutely nothing. We can drill a hole in the Gulf, a very deep hole, and tap some oil reserves. But can we shut it down when it breaks? Well, it appears that we can't do that, at least so far. It wouldn't surprise me at all if it turns out. But we can never totally stop this flow of oil until it runs out. So I think God is trying to show us that next to his power, we are still nothing. And he wants us to be humble and to follow him. Now, I mentioned that God wanted to let his people go. He wanted the Egyptians to uh, let his people go. I think another purpose of the plagues and uh, calamities in the book of Revelation is to separate the righteous from the wicked. Why do I think that? Because I'm applying another scripture about the end times, which is Matthew. And Matthew 13, verse 24, it talks about the parable of the wheat and the tares. And it says, another, par <clears throat> another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. While the man slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Tares are weeds that look just like wheat. So when the wheat is young and the tares are young, you can't tell them apart. If you took your hoe out there, went out to weed up the tares, you'd also weed up the wheat because they look exactly alike. So to continue with verse 26. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did, thou not, did not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? And he said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while you gather up the tares, you root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Well, in my opinion, this is the time of gathering. This is the time when the righteous and the wicked are going to be separated. It talks about burning them. We 
you know, the book of Revelation talks a lot about fire. I think the plagues and calamities are going to separate the righteous from the wicked. The righteous who follow God, who follow the scriptures, will move to where they have to move, will do what they have to do to avoid most of the plagues and calamities. The wicked, who do not believe the scriptures, who do not want to follow God, they will laugh at all these things until they are destroyed. And this is part of the process I think is going on in the book of Revelation. And this is part of the reason why we have these plagues and calamities. And the message to us today is to follow God so that we will be separated from the tares and we will be gathered into his bar. Now, there are also some who I think say, I shouldn't even be talking about these things because no man knoweth the hour or the, the day or the hour when the Savior comes. And so somehow that makes me wrong to even talk about the prophecies in the book of Revelation. I do not agree with that interpretation. It is true that no man knoweth when the Savior is coming. And I don't know it. You'll notice I've never said when he's going to come. But we are told to watch and to watch the signs of the time. Because the righteous will know close to when he comes. Not exactly, but they will know the signs and the seasons. Here's a quote from Matthew 24, verses 32 and 33. Now learn a parable of the fig trees. When his branch is yet tender and put forth leaves, ye know the summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall hear these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. And I think we are getting near again. I will not make any specific prophecies, any specific dates at all. And I am not a prophet. I do not claim to be a prophet. I'm simply a person who reads the scriptures and forms opinions. If you like my opinions, that's great. If you don't like them, that's great. The only thing that really offends me are people who get very angry, who call me names, who use profanities and obscenities. Anger is not of God. Anyone that's angry does not have the Spirit of God with them. So, I hope I've enlightened you on some of these questions, and perhaps there'll be a part three come up when I'll answer even more. Thank you.